I had needles, but I'm ready. It's a step towards a greater peace of mind for this 36-year-old African immigrant. You have to trust your Lord, but after when you do actions. And prevention from disease is better than the cure. That's the reason why I came. He's at the Islamic Community Center of Phoenix, where Maricopa County public health officials have been working to organize a vaccination event for refugee families. We wanted to bring this event. We're trying to reach some of our communities that maybe have a harder time finding a COVID-19 vaccine, especially considering our refugee communities. It's the first project of this type. And according to one of the co-founders for the mosque, it brings a lot of help to the local Muslim community. We have the access to knowledge and sometimes the language barrier. So we were able to advertise it. We were able to, to reach out to a lot of those who are underprivileged. 800 vaccines were provided for this event. The goal here is to administer the vaccine in a place refugee families not only trust, but also feel comfortable in. That definitely break the barrier and break the, uh, the wall that was built of mistrust from where they came uh, you know, from as being a war-torn countries. Although there's still lots of outreach left to do, efforts like this are part of the center's belief in having healthy homes. We look at the mosque that it's not a place to come to pray and just leave you know, no, it's uh, interaction with the community uh, that attend the mosque. A small dose that will go a long way. We're part of the society. We're part of the American society. And we need to do our part. Antonia Mejia. Yeah, smile, even though you cannot see. Maricopa County News.